All right, now the fun part. Now we're actually gonna get to fly the drone. Now I'll be using the Sima X5C because I think this is a really good one to practice on. It's very light, it's hard to hurt anybody, it's hard to damage the drone. You could actually fly this thing if you're in a field, you could fly it up, cut the power, and it'll literally basically just glide back down and land, mostly unharmed unless you hit a rock or something really hard. But I've done that plenty of times, it just lands in the grass, Flip it back over, take it back up, no problem. So the Sima X5C is the drone we recommend using for these exercises and for this course. It's what we'll be using when you see the videos. We've included a link to purchase it below so you can get one for yourself on Amazon. They're usually pretty cheap. All right, so for the first exercise, what I want you to do is I'm just gonna turn the drone on. We're gonna connect the controller to the drone. I'm gonna fly it up. I'm just gonna hover it in place for a second and then I'm gonna set it right back down. Now, like I said, since this drone's pretty light and I don't think I'm gonna hurt anything, I'm gonna go ahead and do it in here. Plus I've been flying drones for a while, but if you don't feel comfortable doing this or if you're not in a space where you have a clear open space to fly, I recommend me going outside to a field or something like that. You don't wanna be knocking things over in your house, especially if it's your first time. So. Even though I'm doing it here, I recommend that you probably go outside, maybe find a field to do this in if it's your first time. All right, so the first step is we're gonna connect the controller to the drone. So right here is the power button on this controller. I'm just gonna flip it up. It's gonna beep, it's gonna blink blue. Then on the back of the drone here, I'm gonna flip this power switch to on. You'll see these start flashing, these lights. Then you're gonna just gonna take this controller and you're gonna go up and down with the left thumbstick, up and down with the left joystick. You'll hear it beep twice and now we're connected. Now for these Sima drones, they're a little different than the DJI drones. So if you have a DJI drone, the GPS enabled one like we were talking Mavic Pro here, there's a different way to connect those. It's a little more complicated. We're not gonna get into in this video. And it's always changing a little bit based on the software. But how you would start the propellers on those drones is you're gonna take both of your thumbsticks here and you're gonna drag them down and towards the center like that. And that's gonna tell the motors to power on. And so the DJI drones, when they're sitting there, those propellers will just be humming, they'll be moving, but the drone won't be flying yet, and they're always moving. With the Sima drones, the propellers are just off right now until you start flying, then they just kick on automatically when you start moving that left thumbstick. For this exercise, we're gonna take off, hover in place, and then I'm just gonna set it right back down. So, I hope this goes well. Take it off, hover it in place, we gotta fly it towards the camera a little bit. All right, and we'll bring it back. But for you, I just want you to fly it right in place and then set it back down. Right there, nice easy landing. The key is be gentle with the controls. Don't be hitting the gas full speed, full power. You really just wanna take it nice and easy, just enough to get it off the ground, and there you go, and just leave it there, just little bits at a time, all right? So just kind of take it off, try to hover it in place, and then set it back down, all right? And that's the end of our first flight exercise. We connected the drone to the controller, hovered in place, and came back down.